Please, let's record. Let's record. I'm just going to say this. I can feel it already. Well, I just brought the fan in as well, but yeah, we've got a storm coming. It got crazy quiet, and it's insanely dark. I saw a little bit of rain. I did hear some thunder, and I stepped outside to grab the cactus, Orthos, and um, I could feel it cooler already. So this will be interesting to see what happens. All right, I've removed, I've recorded all the positions, as you can see there. Um, it doesn't look like much of a front because they don't have counters there due to the fact that I just want to stare at the terrain and where the fronts are. Like, where is everybody at? That's it. Um, trust me, you're going to see a much better shot than this. But it, oh, did you hear that? But I just wanted you to get an overhead view, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Then I'm going to see if I can. I'm not going to uh, stop the screen. Good Lord. Are you kidding me? Keepers jumping. <laughs> well, if you're going to see me. Oh, hold on. Just in case. Just in case. I am a vain son of the bee. Well, no. Well, maybe I am. I don't know. I will say this, I've always loved wearing hats, but now it's become to the point like I do not like looking at myself without hair. So I think the uh, the hats have become a poor man's toupee and that's just the way it is. Okie doke. So here we go. I'm going to hopefully, sh yeah, I did an insanely high res image of, I've got a high res portrayal of the final positions for the fronts of my game and we're going to go into december uh 1914 trust me there's going to be lots of bloodshed going uh beyond this if you're into that type of stuff the war is not over that's for sure uh the russians have no reason whatsoever right now to um sign a separate peace with the germans i don't know what's going on with the Austro-Hungarians right now. I, have to, I know they're not doing very well in Serbia. That being said, they're, holy cow, it's getting gross out there. That being said, I'm going to maybe have to go upstairs and make sure that uh, nothing's going on with the windows up there. That being said, uh, I'll show you. Well, maybe I can show you with me. Uh, yes, I can, I think. So remember that... Uh, everything west of the Visloka with the Katowice uh, Conference Agreement was under German control. They had uh, Austro-Hungarian troops here. Uh, at one point when the uh, Russian Fourth Army were uh, withdrawing like crazy here, the Germans asked them to basically uh, carry a little bit of the load just just do this little bit here so they could like punch through the big time the austro-hungarian said no we're just sticking to our border here and that's just the way it is well guess what it may potentially bite them in the ass actually both of them but uh they would the germans would have given them all this territory which is uh the zanka river here we're gonna see it in a bit when i show you close up however the Austro-Hungarians have this, they've got the shortest by a long, I've got it written down. I think it's that long, I can go to the uh, They've got a ridiculously, almost uh, less than half uh, the length of the Russians. It's insane. See what that means? The Russians, look, look at their front. Look at this. It's nuts. They've got to deal with that, man. On the flip side, which is a, a beautiful thing I haven't included, you'll uh, maybe see later. I haven't included the railheads. Think about this, though. The Germans are very far away from the rail, their own railheads in Poland. The Russians are not. We're going into January 1915. The Germans cannot start constructing uh, or extending from the railhead until um, it starts the thaw. So I, I don't think till March or April. Got a long way to go. The Russians don't have to worry about that, which means they can start counterattacking in January. 
they can start picking their spots. I understand that the Germans here can start picking their spots because it's in East Prussia and they've got all the railheads and, you know, whatever, the sand. Another, I'm just saying, holy shoot in the hell. I have to go and stop this. Maybe, yeah, it's insane rain. And I just love looking at storms. And I haven't been out, I think actually, I haven't been out in the rain. Like just taking my clothes off. That's the problem. I, I live in a place where, you know, people will phone the, the police. It sucks. Because I just like to go out naked right now and just like just enjoy the rain. And I know Crispy Galactic's like, get your arse over here. Um, and you hear like kids screaming because they're getting hit by the rain. Ah! Uh, you hear that? Oh, my yeah. God. But I wouldn't get that in the uh, silence of, well, maybe I would if uh, Crispy Galactic's kids ran around and the rain got caught in it. But <laughs> Oh, my goodness. I want to show more of this, but I can't because, oh, well, I will. And the second installment, how's that? Keepers jumping. I don't even know if this works. We'll find out. All right. <laughs> 